from my point of view, the really important place for Celtic Christianity is Lindisfarne. And I think it's very difficult for a Christian to go anywhere near Lindisfarne without realizing that he or she is surrounded by the Celtic saints. There is Aidan and Cuthbert and so many others. And it, I think the island is still redolent with that atmosphere of those saints, knowing that that was their center from which they traveled, carrying the gospel all over the Northeast. Holy Island flourished as a leading ecclesiastical center and became the focus of what had been called a golden age of scholarship and cultural excellence. The Lindisfarne Gospels, a great illuminated manuscript, is perhaps one of the most significant documents to survive from this time. The craftsmanship and quality of the illuminations speak for themselves. Lindisfarne was also the place where the events that would eventually lead to the amalgamation of the Celtic Church with the Roman Church began. Initially, this was brought about by the work of St. Hilda. Hilda was the grandniece of King Edwin of Northumbria, who had preceded King Oswald. When she was very young, she had heard Paulinus, one of the evangelists sent by Rome to England, preach. This led to her conversion to Christianity, and she was baptized either at the wooden church in York or in the River Swale at Yeavering. <laughs> 